Ah, Thanksgiving. A time for turkey, pie, and those cherished family conversations. Yes, Thanksgiving dinner, where relatives gather around the table, bringing with them all their opinions, unsolicited advice, and stories you've heard every year since you were old enough to chew cranberry sauce. This lecture takes you into the world of navigating family dynamics with humor and poise. So grab a seat, fill your glass, and let's dive in. No Thanksgiving is complete without a well-meaning family member asking about your love life. This is especially true if you've somehow managed to avoid introducing a significant other, prompting your aunt, who's been single since the 80s, to offer advice. While your grandma asks pointedly if she'll see great-grandkids in her lifetime. A great diversion here is the cranberry sauce. Perfect for dodging the question. Much like you might dodge a football at the family's impromptu backyard game. And then there's the question everyone avoids but knows is coming. Bubbling beneath the surface like an overboiled pot of potatoes. So, what do you think of the current state of things? Uncle Bob, clearing his throat, takes this as his cue. He adjusts his belt and launches into a monologue that could rival the length of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. You're left nodding along while mentally planning your escape route. A helpful trick here. Pivot. Pivot. You know, I think we can all agree that the best thing about this country right now is pumpkin pie. Grab a slice and revel in the neutral territory of dessert. Speaking of tricky territory, relatives love dissecting your career choices. Your job title, regardless of what it is, will inspire a range of responses, especially if it doesn't involve a cubicle or a 401k. Whether you're a digital ecosystem architect or a freelance content strategist, you're likely met with confused looks and raised eyebrows. This is the perfect moment to introduce yourself as a lifestyle optimization specialist and watch the confusion turn into awe as they assume you're doing important, highly lucrative work. As the meal progresses, you'll encounter the mystery casserole, a Thanksgiving enigma. It's present every year, a culinary puzzle that no one claims to have made, but everyone feels obligated to try. It might be a salad of marshmallows and gelatin, or a casserole with an unidentifiable crunchy topping. You sample it, pause to give it a fair review, and dramatically declare, who knew marshmallows and peas would taste so good together? You may just scare off any future contributions of the same dish. And Thanksgiving wouldn't be Thanksgiving without a little culinary competition. Your mom wants you to know that her stuffing is the best. Your aunt insists her pumpkin pie is unbeatable. And your dad makes sure you don't overlook his famous roasted Brussels sprouts, which, let's be honest, you've avoided for the last five years. Compliments are an art form here, best delivered with a smile and a nod while helping yourself to both the stuffing and the pie, and announcing, guess I'll just have to keep tasting until I can decide. That way, everyone leaves with their culinary pride intact, and you get a bit of everything on the table. Of course, every grandparent has a signature Thanksgiving story, and it's usually introduced with a classic line. Back in my day, whether it's about how they walked six miles uphill to school, or how they bought a car for the price of a turkey sandwich, these tales are family classics. Sure, you've heard it before, but that's tradition. Sit back, nod along, and let a few no way or wow comments fly. You're in the presence of family lore, after all. Someday, you'll be the one telling these stories, perhaps with a bit of Thanksgiving embellishment. Then, just as you think the evening might end without further surprises, the relationship advice you didn't ask for makes its way into conversation. Aunt Judy, 
who once went on a Caribbean cruise with her cat, gives you tips on keeping love alive. Cousin Emma, who's dated half her friend group, chimes in too. By the end, you're given a complete relationship roadmap and enough advice to last until New Year's. Simply smile, nod, and offer, I think what really makes a relationship work is a good meal, like this one. Take another bite, and they'll move on to giving cooking advice instead. Thanksgiving isn't just a holiday. It's an endurance test, a marathon of diplomacy. Sha, quick pivots, shand, strategic pie consumption. But somehow, it's these moments that keep us coming back year after year to laugh, cringe, and make new memories with the people who, despite it all, are our people. So take a deep breath, laugh a little louder, and remember, you only have to survive until the leftovers are gone.